We still have that breeze out there tonight that's pooling a lot more leaves off the trees several times today. Been seeing them just uh, falling all over the backyard. Well, notice the winds across the state of Ohio sitting between about 15 to near 20 miles per hour as you go off to the west. In our region, it's about 10 to 20. And I do expect winds to let up a little bit overnight tonight. Tomorrow, still a light breeze, not as strong though as it was today. And you'll still have that sunshine that you'll be able to enjoy. So, radar and satellite, yeah, all is quiet. The pattern staying quiet through the night and pretty much through your entire weekend. The entire eastern U.S. getting some uh, much deserved sunshine as that cold weather that we went through actually extended as we talked about late last night all the way down into Florida. So yeah, everybody can use a couple of warm nice days and we're going to have those into the early part of the upcoming week. Tonight temperatures start dropping into the 40s as those high school football games are wrapping up and that's it for the lows. They'll drop to about mid to low 40s. So it's warmer for your early Saturday morning. If you don't have the privilege of sleeping in Saturday, at least it's not going to be as cold when you step out bright and early. Now into the afternoon, those temperatures already rising into the 60s and those highs, they'll be approaching 70 degrees with plenty of sunshine for you to enjoy. Saturday evening, no weather concerns. If you've got dinner plans you're heading out to, well, you may want a light jacket once the sun goes down. Those temps start falling into the 50s, but overall it's going to feel rather comfortable. And then for Sunday morning, still looking at 40s for the low and a few clouds around. I do expect to see a few more scattered clouds through the day Sunday, but there's not going to be any precipitation. Clouds won't spoil your afternoon as high as their jump to the 70s once again. Monday stays dry with more sun. Tuesday, we'll look for a few more clouds around and start turning our attention to this storm system that starts moving toward the region as we head into Wednesday. It increases our clouds first. Timing of this precipitation, though, something we're still going to be fine tuning as we go into next week. It does look like Wednesday, though, we'll see a round of some showers moving in that impacts the middle part of our week and then the latter part, the temperatures start coming down a bit. So 43 with clear skies tomorrow for Saturday breakfast plans, 40s to start, upper 50s by 11 a.m. The afternoon, we're talking 70 degrees both Saturday and then 71, so 70s on Sunday as well. No weather concerns throughout the weekend. Early part of the week, just as nice. Mostly sunny skies on Monday. Tuesday, partly sunny and low 70s still. Now, with that storm system coming Wednesday, our high temperature will hinge on the timing of when those showers develop. It does look like that rain right now is at least middle to latter part of the day that will allow us to warm into the 60s. If those showers start arriving more so in the morning, we may not get as warm for the high there. But then, as you see into the latter part of the week, we'll start cooling. But thankfully, this time for cooling, it's not 30s and 40s, it's highs dropping to the lower 60s.